Another valid mounting technique is to use screws and tie wraps. Actually professionals use a variation of this, uh, but they have a different kind of a wire. It's uh, twisted and they just have a different technique. But this is a, this is a video about residential lighting, so we're not going to talk about doing commercial buildings and stuff like that. But you can take and use a screw or a screw eye, uh, that's a, you know, another option, and mount it permanently on the house, around the windows, wherever, and then use that as a hang point to then bring your wire up to it, a small four inch black or white tie wrap, and then tie wrap it to the screw or the screw eye. This is a very good technique for brick or stone. Um, actually, you will end up going in the mortar between the brick or the stone is the best way to go. Once again, we've talked about this in the mounting options video, but it's just a lot easier to fix that if you ever want to remove the screw and you know not have the hardware there anymore, and, and then you can fill in that mortar. It's real easy to do. And when I do it, I usually don't even use an anchor for the screw. You just want to drill a hole that's just slightly smaller than the diameter of the screw, just like this. So here's your screw. Um, and you'll notice I'm using a deck screw. These are the best kind to use because the first, uh, you know, inch or so of it is not even threaded and that's the part you leave out. That's the part you don't you don't drill it the screw in all the way. In fact you'll put the screw in if this is the wood, you put the screw in about that deep, then you've got, like I said, maybe an inch of this sticking out, and that's where you bring the wire up to and tie wrap. But when it comes to the hole, um, you know this diameter here, whatever that is, if that's, you know, like an eighth of an inch, then you want to drill a hole that's just slightly less than that so that the threads have just a little bit to cut into. And the other thing that I'll do is I'll go ahead and fill this hole with silicone before I put the screw in it so it's just sealed real well. And another thing you want to look for is you want to make sure the hole is deeper than the thread because if the hole was shallower, this hole was only that deep and you you drilled into it, as soon as this uh, screw bottoms out here, you're going to twist the head off. And so as long as you make sure that your hole is deeper than the threaded part that's going in, uh, you know, it won't bottom out and you won't have to worry about twisting off the head. I've got um, stainless steel screws in mortar in some buildings that have been in there over 10 years. They're holding well. There's no problem. Uh, it's stainless steel so there's no rust. So it's a good way to go. Uh, you can also use this on stucco, but stucco is a really special case. In stucco you really do want to use um, some kind of a uh, anchor to put the screw in. We'll, we'll have a whole different video for stucco because it's a very special thing and, and uh, you really need to watch what you're doing so you don't mess up the stucco.